The Lagunitas Brewery in Petaluma, California, is one of the largest growing distilleries in the world. Featuring beer that not only tastes great, but hits hard too, the growth of the brewery has been remarkable, but not particularly surprising. Let's catch up with our tour guide, James Crowding. Yeah, first, okay, we've been here since 1999, and uh, right now, I have to say this, we are currently the fastest growing brewery in the country right now. We're, what's going on in that room right there is we've been running off of an 80 barrel brew system for the last uh, five, about five years, and we got a problem that probably most businesses wish they had right now in this depression that we're in. We can't make our product fast enough keep our distributors happy at this point. So what we're going to do out there is we're putting one of the largest computerized brew houses on the west coast out there. It's going to be a 250 barrel brew house out there. The process of making the beer is an intricate science requiring a step-by-step -step process that must be followed religiously. It goes from the milk where you grain, where you take your grain, you record it and you uh, make, crush it up, turn it into grit. Take the grit, dump it into the mash kettle. In the mash kettle, you turn it around, you spin it around for about two and a half minutes. I mean, uh, two and a half hours at about 55 degrees. That's the mash out process. That's taking the the, the uh, sugars, starting to take the beginning part of the enzymes out that are going to turn into sugars. Then you take it into from the mash kettle, you put it in the ladder tongue. In the ladder tongue, looks like a big coffee filter, about middle ways down, and you lay the grain on top of it shoot water through it. That's called sporging. As you shoot the water through it, the liquid that leaches down in the bottom, goes down in the bottom, that's wort. Wort is nothing but a hot sweet sugar water. We rake the grain off, send it to a farmer, feed it to his cattle. The wort travels on, goes into the wort cooker or the wort kettle where it's actually cooked for about two and a half hours at about 200 degrees and then we inject hops into it. We inject the hops, cook it for two and a half hours, send it down to what we call the whirlpool. In the whirlpool, we spin it down and get out the natural matter called true. Take the true out, run it through a heat exchanger. From the heat exchanger, it goes back out to the fermenter, sits out in the fermenter. Ale sit out there for 14 days at 65 degrees. Lager sit out there for 30 days at 55 degrees. Take it out of there after 30 days. We filter it out shoot it with carbonation, turn it into draft style beer, and out it goes to you.